Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Om Yasala. Koholo Yawabashim Yawashai, Bahashem, Bahachadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Yawashai to the best of their ability. Zachanah Nawaf is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying. Let me just start off by um saying you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans you are the true hebrew israelites that's your real nationality you know you're the biblical israelites that came out of egypt with moses the so-called white man gave you those um bywords so to speak you know um that you know and start calling you all these different names once they colonize you but your original biblical nationality is your your hebrew israelites the true name of our father is yahweh which means that he exists or he is to be and the true name of the Son, our Savior, our King, is Yahawashai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And I just wanted to just bring that out. Now, as you can see right here, um, they have this, you know, this pregnant theme card. Now, this was a, a teacher that supposedly resigned, you know, for basically, you know, showing these flashcards to preschoolers, right? You know, got the, got the rainbow flag and all that. So, this is what they, they, these people want to teach your children. Now you got this clown. Anyway, another lesson. And keep it classy. North Carolina teacher resigns at the reports of transgender pregnant man. Pictures shown to preschoolers. Now why would you be showing that to some preschoolers? You see, what, what does this have to do with preschoolers? I mean, pre preschoolers don't even, you know, aren't you learning ABCs and, you know, you know, learning, you know, the different fruits, you know, but point out the apple, Susie, point out the banana or, you know. Stuff like that. What the hell does this have to do with preschoolers? What it is, is this is Esau Edom's kingdom. And they're wanting to teach your children this bullshit, man. Because they understand Proverbs. Let me get it real quick. I'm at the plantation too right now. I'm waiting on this damn Edomite to come out the building. <laughs> but So I'm trying to make this quick. Uh, but this is Proverbs 22 and 6. And, and, and um, Esau understands this, man. This is why they're they trying to indoctrinate your children so damn early they they make it to the point where you have to work two three damn jobs you're tired as hell you can't really you know relax with your children you can't enjoy no children in this in this kingdom you see they're spending more time with your children than than you actually are because you have to work to to maintain in this wicked ass kingdom but this is proverbs 22 and 6 this is something that they understand train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it you see, and this is what they want to teach your children. Hey, the so hey, and these are these are Edomites that's doing this. Cause in reality, our people, man, are not into this shit, man. Except for you know that's the reason why we're kind of in the situation that we're in because the Lord told us not to follow after the heathen nations. This is heathen nation type shit. It's no such thing as no damn man getting pregnant, man. You know, this is something that they're pushing though, and and, and as a as, um, recently. They had a story where, you know, they had this supposedly transgender woman. They were supposed to have been, you know, transplanting this uterus to them or whatever. So they can, you know, uh, it's just weirdness, man. But these are the people that you're dealing with. You're dealing with Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man, the wicked that the Bible speaks of. You have to be wicked as hell to be trying to teach something like this to children, man. Preschoolers? You see? What the fuck? I mean, come on, man. Preschool? Come on, man. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> hey, but that lets you know who who the wicked is, and don't think that you know who kn they're teaching this stuff in a lot of schools. Now, how this person ended up getting caught up, I'm not sure, but you know they doing drag queens at the library. I mean, um, you know, drag kings for the drag queens for the kindergartners and all this other stuff, you know, because it's touring, man. Okay, so lock you. Yeah, I had to pause it real quick. I'm, you know, I'm at the plantation. I'm dealing with this Edomite right now. He just jumped out of the vehicle, so we can go on. But, I mean, you know, the point is made, man. I mean, come, how, how long do you think the Lord is going to allow this kind of wickedness to go on, man? How long? Because the scripture talks about the love of many shall wax cold, man, because of iniquity. Iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. You know how, you know how cold-blooded you have to be to teach shit like this to children man and, and not allow them to be 
who the Lord created them to be and for them to grow up and get married, so to speak, and have children of their own. You see what kind of I mean, it, it just wickedness at its finest, man. That damn Esau, Edom, the so-called white man must be taken out of power. This guy is has ruined this place, man. And, and we're getting close. So, I mean, you have to see that when you're seeing stuff like this. Yahweh, he spoke of, you know, the last days, man. And when, it, you know, the disciples asked him what would be popping and what's going on in the last days before his coming. Hey, man, these are these are things that, that were mentioned, man. Uproars of the people. Just straight, complete damn wickedness. Iniquity shall abound, man. The love of many shall wax cold. People are cold as hell out here nowadays. You know? Real cold. And not to mention, you know, uh, the brother's been going off into some lessons, you know what I'm saying, as far as the, um, you know, the Karagma, if you you know, that 3-6 Mafia. You know, they're coming with all kinds of different variants. And, and they're going to let the summer ride out, probably. You know, they're going to they gonna get all this, you know, this damn money off of this $10 a gallon gas, so to speak, and let... Jake and them run around out here and go barbecue some pork ribs, then it's gonna pretty much be about a wrap, man. But there's all these things are coming to pass that Yahweh was speaking of, man. You can't get around it. You're you're hearing more and more of 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 you know digital payments, your credit card companies, MasterCard. Uh, you can go into a damn Amazon and just walk out with what you want, just flash your palm. You know all these. Different, you know, your Elon Musk and all these people talking about Neuralink and they're, they're, you know, wanting to put this damn grain of rice in your ass, man. These people are wicked as hell. They have one agenda and that's to enslave, perpetually enslave you. And really is, they really want you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans because they know that you're the Hebrew Israelites. And they know that they have to pr produce and promote keeping us in sin so we don't call on our power man which is Yahweh. that's the true name of our father man which means that he exists or he is to be we we have to call back on our power man because the things that are about to come to this planet the real the the, the evils you, you you haven't seen evils as of yet like what's to come there's going to be some evils that's about to come that's just going to be insane out here and it's all being orchestrated by the so-called white man right now as we speak and it's starting with your children, you see? And, and their plan is going to, you know, it, it's not going to um, come to pass, man. You know, they're, they're, but they're damn sure going to put you through some hell trying to do it. And Revelation 12 and 12, it goes off into, um, let me see that while I'm at this light real quick. Revelation 12 and 12. And it reads, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. See, people go off into that word devil, and they, they get to believing that it's some red guy under the ground. You know, he's got the pitchfork. You know, that old mythical shit that they've been showing you forever. You know, along with white Jesus, all these 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 lies, the pseudoscience. But that that devil is is the so-called white man. That's that he's the damn devil. That seed, his devilish ass seed, man, is running the planet. That's when you go into Job nine and twenty four. It goes off into the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he? See, this is the wicked man. He's the one that's running the earth. They're the ones that's implementing every single thing that 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 they want to do as far as the people. Us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we have no say in nothing. And the scripture says that we will go to the enemy for one of all things. That's, that's one of the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'd really advise you to read through the ch that chapter. It's 68 verses. Won't take you long to get through it. But read from basically um, verse 15 down. You're going to see the curses that are um, implemented there. And, and, and it only fits you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And once you go into verse 46, it says those curses will be for a sign and a wonder. So when you look at those curses, if you go into a sign or a wonder or mainly a sign, it's, go, it's basically showing you who those people are today. Because the 1948ers, the small hatters that's over in the land, they're not going through any of those curses. They're not going through black on black, um, um, Jew on Jew crime. You know, they're, they're not leaving a woman. They're not, you know, you don't see their children out here all wild and the hell out, you know, hanging out of a damn car twerking. <laughs> you don't see, you don't see none of that from them. They don't fit those curses. 
you, you, you know, they're not out here hating on one another. You see what I'm saying? None of that, none of that is happening with them. You see, they're not living in poverty. They're not living in, 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 in fucked up conditions. When you read through that chapter, you're going to see that it's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that fit that, fit that criteria, man. That's just straight up. You can't get around it. And now, now, now we're living in the last days. The word is starting to come out. Now it's all of a sudden, you know, these 1948ers, you can't even, they, got, they done came up with a law where you can't even speak on them. They, they got it good. They're, they're not going through any of the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. You best believe that. <laughs> and, and, and hey, like I said, again, they want to perpetually enslave the children of Israel. It's not like they don't already have us. They already have us in slavery, but they want to have your ass perpetually enslaved. They want to know your every damn movement. They want to put some shit in you where they can tell when you pass gas, when you're taking, when you're urinating, when you're sitting on the toilet, man. You know, motherfuckers got a. They coming up with some shit uh, uh, to 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 basically measure your CO two your CO two um, emissions. How many breaths he took today? You see, it's almost like one of those those Fitbits or one of those 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 little watches or whatever that you can wear to see how many steps you took per day today. And see, they be logging stuff like that. That's why you know when they give you like a you know the Apple Watch and these these things that keep up with your heart rate and. Those particular, hey, they, they monitor that data, man. They, they know what's up. And so what they do is they get slippery and try and slip it on you like, oh, well, see, just in case something happens, every now and then you'll see one of these stories. Um, my Apple Watch saved my life, you know. My Apple Watch let me know that I had a, a irregular heartbeat, you know. So they, 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 they scale it down. They make it small, you see. Now they're just getting even smaller with it. Now what they're talking about. A grain of rice, you see, it's as small as a grain of rice. Yeah, you, know, you, you, you know, you wear it on your wrist. You know, you, 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 you have your phone in your hand all day. It's just an extension of your damn arm. They're gonna make it seem as if it's a good thing to put this thing in you. You see, that's what that's what the, this is what is all leading up to. Revelation thirteen and sixteen down. But now, if you go to Revelation fourteen nine. It's going to let you know what's going to happen to your ass if you take any of that stuff, man. So, hey, you don't want no parts of that. And we're warning you. We're warning the flock as to what's going on out here. Because you're definitely, you can't get no more wickeder than uh, uh, somebody teaching your damn preschoolers that your little boy can be a, a little girl and your little girl can be a little boy. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with preschoolers, man? I, I mean, but they know how to indoctrinate your children. That's why the, the, these governments... They'll work the shit out of you. So, so you know, they'll raise your children for you. Don't worry about it. We'll, 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 we'll raise them up. We'll raise them. Don't worry about it. They spend a lot more time with your kids than you actually do. Because by the time you get them from school, and make them a little something to eat and all this other little stuff like that, man, you're tired as hell. You got to go back to sleep or possibly even, you know, not even able to even do that because you're headed to your second job trying to keep up out here man this place is wicked as hell and they've overworked the shit out of us israelites man they've over they've, they've overdone it man and the lord is is coming to 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 save the children of israel man and it's just that that's just that's the plain gospel that's the good news of the gospel the lord is coming to redeem the israelites he's not coming to redeem no other nations man when these, these other nations have their G20 summits and their UN meetings, they just met up in Switzerland. When they, when they get to the, get to the, ain't nobody, there's no one there to represent no Negroes, man. The so-called white man is there to represent you. And you know he ain't ever had your best interest in mind. You see, <laughs> so let's just keep it real, man. And, and the scripture talks about woe to them that go down to Egypt and trust in, you know, uh, uh, basically the powers of this place. They don't even, you know, call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because that's, you know, our people go straight to the so-called white man. He he has created this persona that he's God. That's why when you go into 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, um, 2 and 4, you know, it talks about him, you know, basically setting himself up on a pedestal as if he's God. And then who do they give you? White Jesus? Beat white Jesus into you? 
You see what I'm saying? They they gave you white God. They gave you little white baby angels with the wings on their back, with the little pee pee showing. Every movie that you see, everybody in the Bible is white people. Knowing full well that the, the scriptures describe the Lord as being a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, man. Deep voice. But where do you learn that stuff from? You learn it early as a kid. They indoctrinate you with, you know, that, that bullshit ass song, um, Jesus Love Me, This I Know. For the Bible tells me so. You know, they give you that little rhythm, you know, and the children learn that shit. And the so-called black woman, she going to take you to church. And the first thing they go indoctrinate you with is that the so-called white man is your master and that he's your savior. He's your Lord. And our people carry that crap, been carrying that, that same shit for hundreds of years now, man. But that stumbling block is, to, is, is being trampled down now, man. We, we are bringing out the truth out here. You know what I'm saying? So our people can get it. Because if you're serving white Jesus, you're, you're, you're into idol worship. Straight up. And why do they give you such an effeminate looking picture of the Lord? Because that picture of white Jesus looked like a, 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 a transformer it's himself. That's a very effeminate picture that they have of the Lord, man. And he's not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. And that lets you know in itself as well, like how wicked they are. They just wicked from every angle, man. Your children have no chance in this place. It just is what it is, man. You now, now you got you got to set up damn airport scanners in a goddamn elementary school just to make sure that your kids are safe. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, man, this, this, this place is doomed, man. This place is through, and it's not coming back to no form of glory. And 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 hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans better get the hell out of here. And I'm talking about mindset-wise. You need to be start placing your mindset. And meditating on your how about shimmy our side throughout the day, man. Out here just doing all this wicked shit that these so-called white people done set up, man. All they wicked dumbass holidays. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, we at the we at the very end of this thing, man. You can't. I'm telling you. I mean, <laughs> I guess you can get just when we said just when we think that we've seen it all, it, we do see some more wickedness. So I'm just like, wow. But this is classic wickedness, man. This is classic wickedness. Now, I'm trying to think, like, how in the hell... I didn't read all the way through the story. And then it's got under the color white. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, promote that to, you, to, to your children. Damn weirdos, man. Promote that to, 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 to your so-called white children. But what you notice is when you start... When you see most of those... That agenda on TV, it's normally the so-called black man they having these commercials and shit like that. They just gave, um, what's this clown name? I think Laverne Cox or some shit like that. They just gave this motherfucker a, a Mattel doll. Hey, you know, got a, your first transgender Barbie doll is, 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 is after a man, a so-called black man. As if there's no so-called uh, uh, white transgenders. They could have gave that title to the so-called white man. Why didn't they do it? Because they want to push that on the children of Israel. They understand that, you know, let's keep them in sin, man. Let's keep them in sin. But, you know, I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot second. Because this shit is ridiculous. And you don't see no Christians coming up against none of this stuff. Look at this weirdo. Caitlyn Jenner speaks out on LGBT issues, patriotism, and midterms. Motherfucker running for office. And, and you see Joe, um, um, Joe Biden's whole, his whole... His whole his whole cabinet is is, is a pack of uh, Starburst. Now, I'm just trying to keep it classy, but anyway, just wanted to just touch on this. Hey, watch out for what your children are learning in school, man. If you can, I mean, I know it's hard. It's, you know, our our people are not in a position to really homeschool like that. But if you are, man, teach your own kids, man. <laughs> Straight up. But anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.